Bad news for Western fans today. Their star and outspoken leader, P.J. Fleck, is headed to Minnesota. Less than a week after taking the Broncos to their first New Year's Six Bowl, Fleck is headed to the Big Ten. 24 Hour News 8's Evan Dean's been following the reaction from the program and the fans on campus in Kalamazoo. Evan. Yeah, Brian and Sue, it seems like Western thought they had him. Fleck had passed up other jobs, even refused to interview with other teams. The athletic director here today saying he had four or five other teams that wanted him. But it was that late firing in Minnesota after the Cotton Bowl when an opportunity opened up that Fleck wouldn't turn away from. No doubt about it. The always animated P.J. Fleck brought life and made history with this Bronco football team. We're a different program now. In just the fourth year of Fleck, a MAC championship, a visit from ESPN's College Game Day, and a trip to the Cotton Bowl. There is no doubt that when we hired Coach Fleck, this is exactly where we wanted to be. But now, Western AD Kathy Beauregard is tasked with replacing him. Despite what she calls an incredible offer from WMU, Fleck is now two states west. If you had asked me, first of all, if that would be one of the jobs that would have been on his list as a, a top priority, I probably would have said no. But Beauregard thanked Fleck for all he's done and then turned her focus to what's next, hiring a new head coach and her top priority, the players, who she says likely didn't expect this either. Outgoing QB Zach Terrell among the many sending out tweets. Terrell thanking Fleck and saying he changed the university and community forever. As for those on campus. Didn't really believe it at first. I'm surprised and a little hurt. <laughs> it's kind of sad to see him go. It's mixed emotions, but no question, a whole lot of gratitude for the former top Bronco. He took over, really Western, and that's like family to everyone, really. I mean, it's, it's sad to see him go, but at the end of the day, he had to do his best for him and his family, so. Now, at the presser, Beauregard wouldn't talk specifics of the deal that they offered Fleck, and at the time, she uh, didn't know exactly what Minnesota's deal was, but she had an idea, and she told me that she wouldn't be surprised if Fleck went to Minnesota for less money, saying that donors from across the community had poured in funds in an effort to try to keep P.J. Fleck in Kalamazoo. We're live at Waldo Stadium tonight. Evan Dean, 24-Hour News 8.